90s Baby Juice from Michigan. I'm rocking with OTR Views. It's on. From, from Detroit to Houston. Yeah. What's going down, bro? Man, shit, chillin'. I'm about to shoot a little video. Get active. About to shoot a video right now? Yes, sir. Who we shooting to? Uh, this song called Respectful. Respectful? Yeah, Respectful. It's just you on there? Yeah, just me on there. Should've got Justin LaBoy in that man. He should've, he should've, 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 that nigga pull up. Yeah, holla at me, god damn. Yeah, right, man. So let's get into it, bro. First, let's let's talk about what made you make the move from Detroit to Houston. Uh, officially, it was on some school shit. I was hooping, you know what I'm saying, a while ago. I ain't finished school after the season got over. I ain't finished school. My brother was already down here. Mm -hmm. So shit, I just really just shot down here after that. Okay. Got active. Oh, so what you was going to school for? Uh, hooping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't really having You weren't really I was just hooping. Just hooping. Yeah. What school you ended up going to? Uh, Texas A&M Commerce. Okay, okay, okay. So what made you stop hooping? Shit, I fucked my, uh, meniscus up. I ain't never get a heal, so. It so wasn't gonna work after that. Well, I, I ain't even trying to do it after that. Damn, man. That's crazy how shit works. So what made so like is that what made you going to get into music or you were just already? Yeah, on see, that? They, when I moved out here, my um brothers and them was on music already. So you know what I'm saying? I was just like on the background. This was like three, four years ago, so I was on the background. You know what I'm saying? Not doing too much, just pushing that shit. Yeah. And shit, over the last year, I just like let me turn up, get on my own shit, go my way type shit. And yeah. That's how we got on to it. Yeah. Okay. I can say you've been turned up on this music shit. I don't know how long you've been doing it. How long you been rapping? Just a year. Just a year? Yeah. It's crazy, man. I ain't heard no BS music from you or nothing. Every time you send me some shit, it's like some heat. So I wanted to go on and give you a flower while we're right here that. face to face, bro. Appreciate that. Bro. Yeah, bro. So tell, tell us a little bit about your background, bro. Like growing up and shit like that in Detroit and all that. Man, you know, growing up, it was cool. You know, regular same shit. Niggas in the hood doing crazy shit. Yeah. I got a pass on a lot of crazy shit I did because I hoop, so I ain't niggas know I was on some little sneaky shit, but you know what I'm saying? It was, everything was Gucci though. Yeah. Regular hood story type shit, niggas going through type shit, so. Yeah. But no different for real. I just was on, mine was quiet because everybody was on. Like, me hooping would play, open played all the other shit I was doing. Okay. But nigga for sure was on his little shit. So you, so we can say you basically grew up in the streets? Yeah, yeah for shit. sure. Yeah, okay. I stayed in the hood. My whole city damn near hood. You know what I'm saying? So Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the in the truck, like was you you know how every hood they got the niggas they got you know, everybody got the gangsters in the hood, right? Yeah. They got the niggas that's shooting and that's it. Yeah. They got the niggas that's trapping. Yeah. They got then they got the, the the niggas that's in school hooping and playing ball and shit like that. Yeah, sure. Was it kinda like one of those situations for you? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we had niggas Niggas getting money across the street, like, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Niggas popping niggas down the street. Yeah. And like me and my little circle, we was we was into it all. We was really like the athletes type shit, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? We, we, we some shit went down, we know what to do type shit. You yeah. Me? So that's so, how I grew up. So did people like try to protect you? Like, oh he he got career going, yeah, he hooping, sure. like we gonna keep him away from this, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. I can go to any side in my city, you know what I'm saying? Niggas are like, Oh yeah, he he straight. Yeah. You know, I ain't touching him. Good. Niggas fuck with me from all sides, you feel me? So shit, it was always straight with me. Okay. But niggas know like who my brothers is and right. where they from and all that type of shit. So niggas ain't really play crazy like that. Yeah. They just be like, get your man's type of shit. Yeah. Won't shit go down where I'm around. All so, right, right. So it'd be that type of situation. <laughs> okay, okay. So who did you grow up listening to out there? Man, Gucci, Jeezy, Boosie, Daddy. Um, <laughs> shit, that's really it for real. I stayed on them niggas. Them was the main niggas. Yeah. Yeah, for real. For real. Gucci and Gotti for sure. Jeezy. Okay. Lucy. Yeah, them niggas for sure. Okay. What well, when, when would you say, like, the y'all music scene out there, like, really started popping out? Shit, the last two years. Last year. Okay. Last year, but it turned it up a little bit this year. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, let's get It's good to see that whole Michigan sound. It's just good to see that bitch getting, you know what I'm saying, played everywhere type shit. So, yeah. it's love. It's been love here, man. 
Yeah, I was gonna ask you too, like how you feel about a lot of artists like from different, like really the South. A lot of the South really didn't just start jumping on y'all ways and rapping on y'all beats and shit like that. How you feel about that? I mean, shit, it's like our time right now, you feel me? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's love, for real. That's how I, I feel like it's love. You know what I'm saying? It make connections, it make connections easy for me to make, you know what I'm saying? Knowing where I'm from, they know, oh yeah, you from out there type shit. Oh, yeah. You get active type shit like that, so. Okay. I love it for real though. Should be signed to fire too. Whenever they get on that bitch, you be signed to fire. Okay. okay. So how you feel about Houston, man? Since you been out here, like how, how you like Houston? Man, I love the H. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to move. None of that. The H got everything. D. Yeah. Everything got down. It's just it's, it's, it's love out here. I be telling my motherfucking niggas to move out here. Like. Yeah. yeah. I be trying to get more of them down here, but yeah, it's somewhere. I love this shit. I, I want to leave. I'm here. I'm locked in. I'll probably get a crib somewhere else but on some vacation shit. But as far as living, staying, I'm staying in the age, man. It's, it's home for right now. Okay. So. Okay. So, when you, what would you say will be a song that you really just like start popping off for you? Like, what would you say what would be your first song that you feel like start popping off? Because every time I throw you on the page, bro. Niggas is jumping in the comments, they flooding the comments, fire, yeah. shit like that. So, you got a fan base. So, yeah, for sure. what what song would you say was that uh, first one that really kind of started popping off with you? Probably Come Shot with Lil Jeremy. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That shit, that shit got me. That shit got me right. Shout out to bro. That's my nigga. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Real genuine nigga. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, Lil, me and Lil Jeremy song, Come Shot. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. So, what made you get Lil Jeremy on that song? Really? That helped that joint. I mean, yeah, hard. What made you, you go get him? To me, he the hottest nigga in the H. To me, though, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. lane, what I be rapping about and shit, he the hottest nigga doing that shit. And he young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy right now. You yeah. feel me? So, I feel like it was the only thing. Then what we talking about, it was only right to get a little German on that bitch. So, I'm like, yeah. So, we put that shit together. That's that's my dog, though. We, we fuck with each other outside of music now. All that shit. So, it's, it's been love, for real. Yeah, I feel like he really kind of embraced the feature. You know how when you do features with artists, some niggas might not post it, some niggas might yeah. post it one time, say forget it. Like I feel like he really embraced the feature that he did, which he posted it, and yeah, you know, kind of sure. supported you on that. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying he, he. We just talked about some shit the other day. He about to some, some major shit about to pop off and shit. He was like, I want you right with me type shit. So you know what I'm saying that's. I said we connected outside of the music for real, so yeah. that's my dog. All off that feature, he, he shit, he went crazy on that bitch. He, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like no feature. He just did some shit and just said anything. He went crazy. So it was love for it, for real. Okay. So what would you say? What would you say is something that you hate about music right now? Politics about this. Politics. Prior to politics about this shit, like, you know, yeah, niggas on the, or, or matter of fact, not even the politics about it, just niggas, just the genuine love and that shit, like, niggas ain't fucking with you down, don't fuck with you, I don't want fake fuck with a nigga, none of that shit, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. niggas stand on business, yeah, like, y'all, nigga pay with something, stand on that shit, you know what I'm saying, don't get the, Going crazy shit, not doing a handle of business and all that shit, and stand on your business. You feel me? That's why I don't like about it. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay. Okay. So what? What's something that you want people to know about you? Uh, shit, I be on it real. You know what I'm saying? It's real shit. It's real shit from back home. It's real shit, niggas from back home. We be on. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what all the, all the music I make. That's the story we on. You know what I'm saying hustling. We getting money. We, Really popping our shit, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing it, but not the world catching on to it, you feel me? So, for real, that's what we on. Man, shout out your social medias, bro. Where can we find you? Where can we find your music? And when we gonna get this video you finna shoot? Uh, this video today, I don't know when we gonna get that bitch, but it's <laughs> gonna be soon. I know I got one coming out called Sane Tone. That bitch go hard as hell. That bitch gonna drop the beginning of December. Okay. Um, Find me on IG, 90s Baby Juice. Find me on Twitter, bjuice989. That's all the social media I got right now, but yeah, you can find me on all of them. All right, bro. Once again, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you rocking with us, bro. Yeah, I appreciate y'all fucking with me. You know, OTR Views, man. It's on, man. Every time. Fuck with it. Uh -huh.